this is Hello Gabius and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification and like this video. In today's video, I want to show you a stationery haul. I am so excited about these items and hope that this gives you some ideas of how I also organize myself. So let's get started. As I've told you before, I participate in greeting cards in my other YouTube channel, Hello Gabby's Hello Kitty group. I like to participate in pretty much all of the season's uh, greeting card exchanges. I absolutely love to give greeting cards and I love to exchange greeting cards. Because I participate in greeting cards, I got that stamp where you actually can seal wax to seal an envelope. I got this from Amazon and this is pretty much empty but I wanted to show you the container that I got it and pretty much I ordered three stamps. I put it in my kawaii box because I was able to fit everything in there. All of these items are new but let me just show you what I mean. I got some wax seals. This one is like a tree. And I got another one, and this one does have my first initial G. And I got little mini wax pebbles here, and some more. And so basically what you do is, you are going to place one of these tea lights here. You're gonna burn it, you're gonna use your little scoop, it looks like a little teaspoon measuring scoop. It's gonna heat up, right? You're gonna pour some of these little wax pebbles in here. So let's just say that you'll put them in here like so, and then it's going to heat up, and then that is how you are going to place it. And then once it heats up, you will then put it on the envelope, and then with this cold stamp, you are going to then keep it there and it'll create such an awesome design very very colorful um, and I saw that a lot of you when you exchange greeting cards with me have that in the back and I was always tempted to buy kind of like that set for myself and so I went on Amazon and I pretty much purchased items that I thought were going to be useful. I got the third step as well this is what the third stamp looks like. And you just pretty much, for example, I have this one, which is the tree. It's just a basic screw on, and then you screw this one on, and there you go. So I do have three, and I can also buy a base for the third one, which probably would be a good idea if you wanna alternate, depending on how many greeting cards or styles that you wanna do. Uh, but anyways, I purchased all of these colors and I also purchased this one. I thought this tone, pinkish tone, was pretty awesome to have as well. I just wanted to have different variations. On one of these collections, I also ordered some of these wax seals. So these are gonna be easier, I believe, because you turn on the tea light and you just burn it and then you have it there on the back of the envelope and then you just you know have that to seal and these dry up so hard i thought they were going to be pretty fragile and perhaps something that was not going to stick on paper and it really does it also came with this silver and gold pen and what you do is after the seal does harden then you can go over it with like a gold or silver pen and kind of highlight the drawing highlight whatever the stamp was and it looks so beautiful so i'm going to try that next time i do a greeting card exchange and hopefully it doesn't tear up too bad in the mail the ones i've received do not so i'm hoping that these also will not with some of the sets that i ordered i also got three little uh scoops if you will and so these can also be, if I have different colors, can also help me with exchanging stamps as I go and do my writing cards. So I can't wait to use this and I thought this is perfect. I definitely want to show this to you guys. So my little wax seal stamp kit. 
In a previous video, I also showed you some Happy Meal I received and I got gifts from a good friend of mine and she ordered a wellness journal for me from Papier. I went into that website and I was able to find out a little bit more about Miffy. But in that, I thought, oh my God, this is such great collections that Papier has. And you can also customize it just like my friend did with that wellness journal. I ordered just two items from there just to see for myself and see what else they have. I ordered a notebook and on this notebook, I put my name and also my YouTube name at the bottom. And this is what I got. And in the back, it is a different color. I totally love the black with rosy tone. Obviously, there's flowers on the cover, and it is a paperback. And lined sheets, I love lined journals. But I decided to order it because I just wanted to try that notebook for myself from this company. Along with that, I also ordered a pen. And this is how the pen came. And this pen is a two-tone. It is gold, pink, and red. There was two, there was a light blue and dark blue, and then this is pink and red. So I thought, you know, I, you know, you can never have too many pens. If you love journals, notebooks, and so forth, you're gonna love writing tools, which I do. This pen is hefty. I mean, it has a good weight to it. I love that gold tone. And it writes like, how can I say this? Like if you're writing on butter, I guess, so smooth. It is so beautiful, so elegant looking. I absolutely love it. So I also got a pen. I also purchased items from Erin Condren. Erin Condren is just one of those companies that will be with me forever. I am an affiliate, but not just that. I absolutely love their products nonstop, whatever it is. They come up with something and I absolutely love it. So I first gravitated towards Erin Condren because I found out about them because of Hello Kitty. I'm a big, big, big Hello Kitty fan. Consider myself a Hello Kitty collector. So I continue to go into Erin Condren. I just love, love, love all their stuff. They did have all like a warehouse sale. They had some items, uh, especially accessories. I went into Erin Condren and purchased some of the items. This is what I got. I got a ruler because I don't have a ruler. I do have a ruler that comes with the journals and notebooks that I've purchased, but they're about nine inches. I needed something that was fully 12 inches. I saw this ruler and I thought this was pretty good because it's clear. So you can actually see when you're gonna be drawing a line and if you need to see while you're on top of the paper, this is gonna be perfect. So this is the ruler of the different colors. Love that the numbers are so big, but yet they do have a rainbow ombre effect. Love it, love it, love it. So I got me a ruler. I also got a hole puncher. I got this hole puncher because, let me show you why I got this hole puncher. I got me a binder. And this is champagne color. So not only will this item on sale, you can customize it. Only four letters, so I decided to put gabs on it. Very pretty. Nice champagne color. So it's not a tan. It's not like a mauve. I do love that the buttons here are also gold and of course it's for a small it's not a full ring binder good for like a seven by eight maybe six by seven items and that is the reason why i got this hole puncher as well i want to try this hole puncher just to see i've never had like an actual just plastic hole puncher before but of course this is not a typical like for a three ring it is for an eight ring binder actually So I do have just a little note here and I wanna use it and see how that does. So I just pushed it and ta-da, you see the holes here. Of course, if it was full length, it will give you all of the holes. Just so you know, since I do have my ruler here handy, shows you how big this is. So this is about nine inches. 
also purchase sticker albums. I do participate in the Erin Condren Sticker Club. I'm gonna be getting stickers every quarter, so I wanted to make room and I wanted to think ahead on how I am going to start organizing these stickers. So I got two sticker albums. I got a turquoise color and I got like a pinkish color. So these are called sticker folios on the go folio sticker album these have 24 inserts so it's going to give you a total of 48 pages these were nine dollars so i thought not bad and i already started to fill this notebook with stickers and these are the specific erin condren stickers so they fit perfectly into the sticker folio and as you can see i have all of my stickers to include my Hello Kitty stickers and I should have even the Wonder Woman stickers that I got. I have my Wonder Woman stickers and then I have my fabulous pressed flower stickers in here. So I love these because um, these folios do help you keep all the stickers here. I still have plenty of room. I do still have an extra folio and it's just so thin. So with that, it also got me thinking that I have plenty more stickers that I need to start organizing. So I went to Walmart and see what I could find. And I found this binder. This is a one inch binder. It's a mini durable view binder. This is just a typical, like a three ring binder. And I do like it that it's a view binder. So I also bought the inserts. The inserts, these are sheet protectors. They fit a three or a seven ring binder. So these are the sheet protectors. And just so you know, the binder was $4.36 at Walmart and these were $2.47 at Walmart. So this is between six to seven dollars. These are 15 sheets. So you do have 30 sides. Now this is six to seven dollars up to 30, let's say sheets of stickers. This is nine dollars and it gives you up to 48 stickers and they're pretty much the same size inserts. I did get started on one of the binders. I ended up buying three binders and just to show you, I love that it's a view binder because you can insert it with whatever you like. This particular binder is my greeting card binder. And let me show you what I did. I put Hello Kitty green cards in here. And they're very roomy. Very, very roomy. So this is specifically my greeting card binder. Let me show you my sticker binder. And of course, I'm just starting, so my project is not done. I just put some of the big stickers that I saw. I'm still figuring out what I could put here on the actual uh, back of the binder. But let me just show you. So I'm starting to put stickers here. And like I said, these pages are very roomy and I'm able to fit pretty much all size sticker sheets. The sticker sheets are not that big, which fits them perfectly, but I'm just gonna take one off just so you can see. So this is the size of one of the inserts. Now, of course, the one from Marin Condren you cannot take away because of course they're attached to the folio. But just to show you, they are pretty much the same size. The one from the three ring binder is a tad bigger. I would say about a centimeter bigger, but it's really not that not that much as far as from side to side again it's about a centimeter bigger um but the point is is that um it's up to you on what 
you would want to get. I know for sure if I were to continue getting Erin Condren stickers, I do want to continue buying the Erin Condren folio sticker because I feel that this one to put away, it's just going to be much slimmer. So for example, these are just two, so 48 each. 48 sticker sheets, 48 sticker sheets, and look at the space that it's going to need. Not much space versus the actual three ring binders that you could only fit 30 in each or whatever you can do because you can put more inserts in here, makes it great. For what I'm using it for though, it's already gonna start to get bulk. It's gonna get already pretty fat. So let's just say these two up to 30 each, this is how much space I'm gonna need for this. A lot more space than the Erin Condren ones. Really, it's a matter of preference. I like them both, just so you know. I do like the Erin Condren folios because they don't take much room and they're just perfect for the sticker club that I participate in. I can definitely add to my collection here and you can easily view and see the kind of stickers that you have. Now, another thing I do wanna mention is that the inserts here, of course, are not detachable. They are much thinner. I really don't see that these are gonna last that long because, for example, on the little three ring binder, these inserts are much, much thicker. So the insert, are so much more durable than these. So again, it's a matter of preference. They're about comparable $9 to about six to $7 for the three ring binder. Uh, another good thing about the three ring binder is that you can add more. So this comes in a 15 pack, but on a three ring binder, depending on what you are actually putting in your binder, you can actually put more, put less, you can insert them wherever you want versus the folio you cannot you actually have to take the item out and then move it wherever you want move it to another folio or whatever this one is just not it's a lot more durable the inserts are that come with this are a lot more durable and it's all wide you can decorate it with whatever you want it is a viewbinder which is also very good so i do like both I, one of my pleasures to have an office to have a room all to myself is that i can organize it i am also a type a kind of personality i need to have things in order if things are not in order i just cannot function I cannot go to another room because this room is out of whack, it's not organized, things are not in its place. I need to start organizing and this is what's gonna really, really help me organize. Also right now, what I'm using my stickers is a box. I have this Loot Crate box and I have a lot of my loose stickers in here. I'm not gonna be able to put absolutely everything in a binder because they're just so little. So I have a lot of little pouches. So I have like this little stickers, I have these little stickers, I have these little stickers. So I am not able to put all of those stickers in these little ring binders because they're just so tiny. They're so small, they're not flat and they don't come in one sheet. I need to figure out how I'm gonna do this. Maybe I can try to have like a chain or a string of some sort maybe so that i can be able to see them because when i start sending out greeting cards i like to put also greeting cards on the envelope on the card itself maybe on a separate note that i'm writing so in order for me to see everything that i have i need to know everything that i have so i can utilize everything i am i wanted to also show you as far as the hole puncher for erin condren that will fit perfectly in this eight ring binder is that i was noticing that the the hole puncher also has these little uh, clasps that you can insert the paper and what that helps is it gives you exactly the right amount of width to start inserting the paper and this is what i am talking about so you actually insert the paper you cannot go any further than this so after that i'm gonna try to close it
it gives you the whole punches there so if i wrote something i want to use it i can definitely tear it off hole punch it and then transfer it to my notebook that is pretty awesome so that is also the reason why i bought this eight ring hole puncher as well i'm definitely going to use this and it's very handy i'm so glad i got that and that it concludes my collection of my stationery haul i hope that you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up also please give me ideas on how you organize how do you put your stickers together your greeting cards together or is this something new that you just um, stumble upon because you watch my channel but i definitely want to be organized and everything that i need because i also need to help myself remember what i have because having these little pouches everywhere of stickers i don't for, i forget that i have them and then i sent out that season's greeting cards and then i'm like oh i could have used these stickers and i didn't remember that i had these so i need to display these somehow to remind me which is why i ended up getting a folio the reminder to help me with some of those things so i can remember oh yeah this is what i have what else can i put in here and i'm flipping through I cannot do this with these little pouches because there are just little, little stickers. So I need to think of ideas. But if you can help me with that, please, please let me know what do you do. Uh, give me ideas on how I can improve my organization here for this type of stationery. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.